Kasper Ruud versus Novak Djokovic is the final for the ATP Finals for 2022. And both guys have had different roads to get to the final stage. Ruud started the tournament off as the number three seed and would take on in-form Oje Ali Asim. And after a first set that went to a tie break, Ruud would run over FAA in the end, getting through in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4. In his second match, he would take on Taylor Fritz, the number eight seed. And after splitting the first two sets, Ruud would eventually get through in a very close tiebreaker in the third, 6-3, 4-6, 7-6, six, to remain undefeated. In his final match, he would take on the number one seed and idol, Rafa Nadal. And even though Ruud had already made the semifinals and didn't need to win this match, he was looking for some revenge for the French Open final that he lost to Rafa, but unfortunately Rafa was playing his best match and Ruud would go down in straights, 5-7, five, 5-7, seven, five, seven, but still getting to the semifinals. In the semifinal, Ruud would take on the number six seed Rublev, who would come off very impressive wins over Medvedev and Tsitsipas to book his spot in the semifinals. But Ruud was just a class above, winning in straight sets, 6-2, six, 6-4, six, to get to his first ATP Finals final. Djokovic started the tournament off as the number seven seed and would take on the number two seed Stefano Tsitsipas in the first match. And this posed no trouble, with Novak getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 7-6. In his second match, he would take on Andre Rublev, who was coming off of a very impressive win against Daniel Medvedev. But Djokovic found no trouble with Rublev, getting through him in straight sets as well, 6-4, 6-1. In his final group stage match, Djokovic would take on Daniel Medvedev, the number four seed, who'd already been knocked out of the competition. And after splitting the first two sets, Djokovic had to play for over three hours to keep his undefeated record intact, getting through in three, 6-3, 6-7, 7-6 to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Djokovic would take on the number eight seed Fritz, who'd been the surprise package of the tournament, coming in as a replacement for Alcaraz and making it all the way to the semis. And after a couple of close tie breaks, Djokovic would prevail 7-6, 7-6 to get to another final at the AGB Finals. These guys have played three times before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 3-0 -head and all their matches being in straight sets, but they haven't played on a hard court for over a year. Actually, 12 months ago at this event was the only time they played on a hard court. If Root's gonna win this, He's going to have to drag out the rallies. He's never been successful against Djokovic, but it feels like with Nole's energy levels over the last couple of days, if he makes this match long and drags it out to two hours, maybe even three hours, he might be able to outlast Djokovic. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he's going to have to get off to a good start, and he's going to have to figure out what is going on with his energy levels because he was lucky to get away with it against Fritz, not having to play a third set. Fritz was serving for the second set in that semifinal, and Djokovic just got out of danger. This is going to be such a fun final. Root's a bit unexpected. I don't know what to expect. I think he's going to be a little nervous. So I'm going to go with Djokovic in straight sets. But I respect Root, and I'm going to give him a close tie break maybe set. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this final?